They wanted to have that traditional feeling that the player made the decisions, uh, that you had to play position golf certain places and you could bounce it in, you, you had to cut it, you had to hook it. It's the weather conditions that will dictate the score being low or high. This golf course will give up good scores. Just on the back nine, you've got two par fives and a driver from par four, so that gives guys a chance to make maybe some birdies and eagles. Regardless of whether he wins or not this week, I think he's proven he's the real deal. The man who tamed the Tiger here this afternoon, veteran Ed Fiore. trees it's on a pretty good line oh man it almost made it Williamson now from 189 yards oh, that is left I don't believe this oh goodness stage is clear for Kenny Perry he was between six and seven now it's just a standard seven for the fat of the green the wider target Dry. That's all that matters. Yeah. By far my best year ever at 47. So I guess 47 is now the new 30. <laughs> so <laughs> pretty neat win for me knowing I didn't have my A game and yet to still be able to come out on top. That that gives me a lot of confidence. High birdies in a row to start the back nine really solidified the day. Like I said, I'll go, let's see if we can birdie the last three holes or shoot 59. High into the air, brings it to the right of the flagstick, and then has it trickle toward the cup. Paul Goidos has hit it to within seven feet for a birdie to shoot 59. Back and through, pushing it toward the cup, and he's done it! He's done it! Paul Goidos has shot it! 59. Paul Goidos will get the place in the history books, but unable to close it out because of the stellar play by Steve Stricker. 12, 30s on the 12 par fives. Well hold. It was a tough day. It was it was a grind, and, and Paul put a lot of pressure on me and I was able to hang on. Another Awkward stance for Stricker. It became apparent that I had to keep at least my left foot in there and keep my right outside the bunker. And, but I felt pretty confident. You know, my footing was pretty good, and, and I took an extra club thinking I could get it all the way back to the pin. He's talking 171. Does he carry the water on the line that he's on? And he has gone to six iron. Sounded like point on a heck of a line. You are kidding me. That was a great shot. He's got a lot of friends to enjoy it with him. For birdie and the win. Looking good. Oh my goodness! For three in a row, Steve Stricker! What a putt! I felt good about the read in the back of the green, and I had a little bit of fringe to go through, but it wasn't that bad. But I was trying to make it. Yeah, for sure I was trying to make it. And, you know, you don't expect that to go in, but uh, I'm sure glad it did. John Deere won the board of the tournament. I played in that tournament more than any other tournament on the PGA Tour. Someone coined it the fifth major for me, and you know, there, there may be a little truth to that. Hold that line, hold that line. He knew it, smack in the middle. But that's an awesome putt. A sudden death playoff here at the John Deere Classic. Oh, good shot, Larry. Well, he picked the window perfectly, but he just hit it 50 yards too far. Anywhere but left. Oh, oh you're kidding. Oh. Oh, they both hit it in the water. So both players made double bogey on the first hole of sudden death. Zach Johnson is in the bunker. Second hole of sudden death. That's a good looking shot. Needs a kick to the left. Beautiful. I hit it six iron. I think it's one of the best results of my career. Oh my goodness, what a shot! Uh, he does not know how close that is. Truly remarkable. 
Madison knows he has to make this. Oh, I didn't make it. That's always a bad feeling too, to come up short. This is huge for Zach Johnson. And he's done it! Zach Johnson takes home his hometown event. Going to be ecstatic. And the entire Midwest set up and smiled. It feels tremendous. I have family and friends here, and to do that in front of them, it feels great.